All right, as you can see, I have a mostly finished bear here. It just needs some hand stitching of facial details and clothing up that side seam. But I wanted to show you some options for a memory animal. So here I have the cutout collar. I just cut it right along the seam where it connects to the shirt. What I do to start is button it underneath the bear's neck. As you can see, it's not too far off on the size, but what I'm going to do to tighten it up is unfold this. So as you can see, this button is underneath. And it's all the way unfolded like this. And what I do is I gather up the extra width of this shirt collar and I'm going to put a pin right here. Not enough that you're squeezing the neck, but just enough that it's tight. And I'll put another pin right here. The next step after that is to unbutton this button. And you'll take just this collar piece that you've done. And what I like to do from here, I don't necessarily want the top of the collar to be a lot smaller. So probably what I'm going to do is just straighten out this line like so, just to kind of give myself an idea of where to stitch. I'll take it to my machine where I have some preloaded matching thread. I'll stitch right along that line where I pinned. Make sure that you backstitch at each end to have enough um, security and I'll keep going up. Trim off these extra threads and as you can see there's a stitched line right along where it was pinned before and if you're going to look at just the collar itself this button should be facing out from where this is. Before you cut any extra fabric off I like to put it back on the bear just to see how it fits. Make sure it still can button easily. This is a nice overall fit. It's a little bit tight, but it's not bad. So it still buttons. And this would fold back down. I can put I put it on backwards as you can see this time, but I'm just checking to see the width. So it looks good. I'm going to unbutton it again and cut off that extra fabric inside the seam allowance just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. I recommend serging or zigzagging this edge um, or pinking shears or you can leave it raw. It won't be a big deal. It won't necessarily be exposed. Um, so let's pin it on the right way this time fold that collar down and we will button this back on. So at this point you have a few choices. You can either leave it as a button on collar and you can just take it on and off whenever you would like or you can whip stitch along this edge and along this edge to firmly attach it. Um, with some collars, you'll have the option of doing a ladder stitch. It just depends on how many layers of fabric you have at this point. So that is how you add a collar to a memory bear.